Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, second video today. So, hey, again, if this is you coming back for a second unprofessional opinion. <laughs> um, so we have news on the Christmas Fusion. I know I'm a day late, dollar short, but I'm going to give you my opinion here. This is Nishak Vermanlord. Um, he has a very unique kit. I'm not 100% sold on him. I want to say I'm 75% sold on him because of the new dungeon and i am honestly of the opinion that raid makes problems and sells you the solutions and this is one of the solutions um so in, you know in tandem with uh what is it muck diver or something who's that rare lizardman dude that has a two-turn cooldown for a two-turn sleep uh we have nishak vermin lord here who is going to help you pretty much kill the boss uh, another thing to sell you on Nishak is he's actually good, I think, for Ice Golem as well. And he'll probably be good for Dragon, too, just because of his passive ability. Um, but, I mean, let's get into it. Let's hope he... We won't know anything until the other content creators go on the test server and find out how much damage he can actually do. Um, and you can bet your ass, if he does too well, he'll probably get a little adjustment and a nerf. But, here's to hoping. So let's go over his skills. His A1, Pestilent Sensor. He'll attack three times at random, right? So this sounds like he's meant to be attacking a boss. Each hit has a 40% chance of placing bomb debuffs for two turns. This book's up to 50. Uh, and enemies whose max HP is equal to or higher than 200,000, so bosses, these bombs will deal double damage. Okay. Uh, his A2, Vermin Lord's Command. Attacks all enemies, and this book's up to 100% chance of placing decreased attack. It's very good. Uh, for two turns, and also has 100% chance of decreasing the detonation cooldown of all bombs by one turn, and then increasing the duration of all poison debuffs by a turn. That's a very good skill in itself. Now let's look at his A3. Unclean Banquet. Attacks all enemies, books up to 100% chance of placing two bomb debuffs on each target for two turns then gives him an extra turn so this is really this is you know we're getting green check marks here on this guy we're thinking yeah maybe he's worth going for um bomb debuffs placed by this skill on enemies whose max hp is equal to or higher than 200,000 will deal double damage so this he's meant for bosses now this is a five turn cooldown books to a four but he gets an extra turn so it's really a three turn cooldown on his a3 that's actually pretty nice uh his passive rat plague Every time a bomb debuff placed by this champion detonates or is removed, places two 5% poison debuffs for two turns. These debuffs are protected. And he has an aura, increase ally attack in all battles by 30%. That's a pretty big ally attack increase uh, for an aura. Uh, man, yeah, I'm 75% on this guy. I think he's actually going to be pretty decent. I know in my Ronda video I put out earlier today, I know I was saying, uh, I'm still, I don't know, I'm 50-50, but... The more I was reading his kit and the more I was thinking of how to utilize him, we still don't know his base stats or anything. Um, you can definitely bet he's going to be around 100 speed and his attack's probably going to be 1,400. Um, and he's going to be very squishy. That's another thing because um, he's an attack-based champion. And he does look really cool. He, uh, The whole inspiration for him, if you don't know, is the Rat King from the Nutcracker. Uh, and if you saw Plarium's trailer, he is fighting like a Russian Nutcracker soldier in that trailer, which is very cool. And that's another champion we don't know about, but we'll probably be coming with the release here this next week when we start this. Uh, I think we start at Tuesday. Yeah, because we already have our fusion warm-up event going on starting today. So actually, I think it starts Wednesday. I can't, I'll have to relook at it here. You know, we'll just pull it up right now. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, so three days, 14 hours. So, two, 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 one, two. Yeah, we're going to be starting either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and don't forget to do your daily stuff for this event. It's very easy. Uh, just run a couple. You already just play the game as you were. Like, run your dungeons uh, and get your artifacts um, and accessories because that's what you use. But remember, you can only get 90 a day. That's what always sucks about these is you have to do it every day. You just can't. Bum rush it one day and then be done with it. And you get like 300 experience, uh, two or er, experience, 300 energy, two three star chickens, 20 gems, uh, and an ancient shard. But the core hammers are really what you want to go for that and the energy. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for him. I, I really do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I do want to show you guys something. So I got that Eternal Soul Stone. I got my first six-star soul. It is the bear. It is Big Bear. Big Bear chased me. Um, yeah, it kind of sucked. <laughs> I have him at five stars, so I can't even fully awaken him right now. Uh, cause I used him originally to beat my faction wars team and I love his like looks. So I never wanted to get rid of him or the polar bear, but yeah, that's it guys for this one. Uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow morning and it will be Turok dinosaur hunter. We're going to go from the first level straight to the end. And the game is actually not that long. Um, but it is one of those, they call them boomer shooters. Um, but it was one of my childhood memories. And uh, tomorrow on the stream, I'll tell you why we're going to be playing Turok Dinosaur Hunter. It's a kind of a family thing. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. God bless and uh, love each other. All right. Peace out.